look at how sharp this is. You could see like my lashes. Huh? This is so cool. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been here before or if you guys are subscribers, hi, welcome. I know it's been a while. I'm just so bad at uploading right now. This is my first video on the new camera. So sorry if I keep looking up at the viewfinder because I thought that's what people do. I thought that's what vloggers do. My apologies if my eyes keep looking up here. So anyways, I just thought I'd do a video for you guys because on my last video, I've been getting some questions about how it went basically with the blue hair and I'm here to show you guys my hair after the blue hair. So some of the questions that I've been getting are like, did it turn green? How long did it last? How did this color fade? How much did I use? I kind of, I think I, I thought I said it in the video, but I took a bunch of screenshots of basically myself on my camera roll from when I dyed my hair, like right before I dyed my hair, all the way up until basically today. So I'm gonna show you guys the color progression of how this color faded, so. Okay, so just so you guys know, I use L'Oreal Colorista Blue 600 dye, and then I also cocktailed that with another hair dye, which is the same brand, L'Oreal Colorista, and this one was Turquoise 650. So by the way, this is where my hair is currently at in its fading process. It is kind of like an ombre right now because I re-dyed it for a certain video, I retouched it, I went to a music festival, so I just colored over the overall blue. So that's what you guys are seeing here is the, um, well, first of all, my roots are already down to here. And then right here is where I retouched it up. So as you guys can still see that like blue color, whatever this color you want to call it, and then whatever color you want to call this. So that's where it's at right now. Um, I'll get into the details too. So I'm just gonna pull up some photos on my phone and kind of just go in chronological order of the fading process so you guys can see the progression on that. And I'm gonna probably just insert them like right here as I go along just for your guys' reference. So this is me right before I dyed my hair blue. I was pretty lifted high. This is obviously my natural color. So when I dyed my hair, it, it needed to be light enough for the dye to like go on to. This is with like natural lighting, like hitting it to make it look really bright too. Um, so pretty blonde there. And then this second picture right here is going to be what it looked like right after I styled it and got all ready. I'm just gonna insert these right here, like I said. Um, so this is natural lighting. This made it really, really jeans denim blue, which I loved. And then this is after the first shower. It's like, if you zoom in, it's kind of like, like faded at the root and I'm trying to think like that was probably my bad of like dyeing my hair and it's so weird how like my towels match like I didn't even do that on purpose but it's like literally a combination of those two colors um so that's after the first wash and that's with artificial lighting I had like a little ring light in the bathroom at the time and then this is the same thing it's the first wash I just styled it with a hat used a filter and it looks a little more on the teal slash turquoise side so that was like the first thing I noticed when I washed it out for the first time, I was like, okay, the, the indigo purple color is like coming out and it's more this like teal turquoise color. And then this is, I think maybe the second or third wash and I just styled it, put some little fun buns in it. And this is when I really wanted to take all my like Instagram photos and like really play with this because it's so fun. Like blue hair is so much fun to play with. All right, next we have me on probably day three or four. I don't really wash my hair like every single day. And you could totally see like the rubber band crease of how I did my hair that week. This is with the artificial lighting, but it's at night and it's really, really dark in the bathroom. So this is what it looks like. This is when you could really see like the turquoise coming in more. Here's some more selfies. This is when I went to a party. So it was Fifty Shades of Grey themed, but I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to dress in all white, like angelic, but like still kind of cute. That's what th the little beads are for. Okay, so this is outside lighting and you could see more of the blue tones and this is literally, you guys, the prettiest color. So I don't know why I keep showing you guys when it's literally right here. Um, my hair was really long too at the time. Just take some cute selfies at the beach. This is when, if you zoom in, you can really see the color fading. So we're on this picture right here, and it looks really teal. Maybe it's my bedroom 
blending the colors in but I'm going to be zooming in right here like you could really really tell that it's fading and then next we have this one this one you could really see the yellow coming in you could definitely see that I used to be blonde underneath it and if you zoom in here on this picture you could see this little like little bruise looking thing right here i had cupping done and i was trying so hard to like not get it in the photo because it would have looked really weird but i got cupping done i got four little cups done and it's supposed to like increase like blood circulation or something like that fun fact and then this is gonna look really weird from this picture to this picture right here because this looks green right here this looks turquoise um and this is blue so this is actually like a week later or so and it looks very icy very cool toned but you gotta remember that this is outdoor lighting so there's a huge difference between outdoor lighting and artificial lighting even if it's a ring light with cool tones like with that white light that you see um it's gonna make a huge difference whatever lighting you're in and then let's say a week later or so um it faded more green this is when it hit an all-time low with the green. So moving on, we have me, it's March, it's St. Patty's Day weekend, and it's literally like the greenest it's ever been. It's like the most vibrant green without being like dark green. It's so vibrant, even in natural daylight. And so this is where it's at. We went to the Giants game that day because it's spring training in Arizona, so of course we're gonna go. Um, but my hair was this green color, but luckily it was St. Patrick's Day or day weekend and we just, I just made the best of it, so. And then it just keeps going in waves, like in certain lighting it looks very light, like cloud-like blue and then in some lightings it just looks really bad, so. Okay, moving on, we have me, this is after a haircut, my first haircut in like months so it felt really good especially with the colored hair here's a selfie with some window light it looks pretty like silverescent green if that makes sense i'm i'm making up so many names for this green because the color progression is so wild you guys like it's just it doesn't fade from blue to light blue to blonde again it definitely bounces around a lot and then this is with like the little rhinestone crystals that i got and this is with the Snapchat filter. It's, I don't know, it looks a little more green on this because it has like a yellow. It's supposed to make you look tan. So yellow definitely brings out the green in here, but I still want it to look cute because, you know. So I decided to do something really funky and wild since my hair was already a funky and wild color. I did like this unicorn look and that video is already posted on my YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out. But the scary part was was that I was dying over my hair with the blue again, the same exact color. So I already knew like what it was gonna be up to that point because I just did that. So that was the only like little flag in my head that went up. It was like, okay, well now you're gonna have to wait again, kind of like where I'm at right now. But the other colors I put in my hair, like purple and pink, um, those colors faded within a couple washes. I got some questions or I got some comments on my YouTube saying that like don't ever use the stuff don't use the purple don't use the teal but the purple actually fades the fastest I don't know what it's called but it's like the light lavender purple that L'Oreal Colorista makes and that one fades in like less than a week and it's so sad because I love purple hair purple hair is actually my favorite and then pink fades really fast it fades really beautifully it fades to like baby doll pink then it fades to like peach light cotton candy pink and then it's pretty much out of your hair at that point with no residue no weird colors it's just this blue hair that's really really tricky and then basically like I said it faded so fast like the top half of my head faded so we're at this picture right here the pink and purple kind of just all came out and then the blue kind of just stuck so if, uh, i don't know a couple days a week or two go by and then it fades basically to this right here that's kind of like where we're at right now with the color progression and then with the step tap filter it makes it look a little bit lighter just a little bit this one makes it look blue those are the color progressions of my hair okay so why did my hair turn green why does it go from this to green? 
like why do products do that is it a bad product or is it a bad choice like what what is it so I personally think it's not the product itself I think it's just the nature of the color so when you dye your hair especially with these kind of like fun colors like not natural colors you're gonna want to have your hair lifted as pretty much as light as possible i'm not actually sure light as possible but it has to be light enough to show up on your hair at least for these um temporary dyes they're gonna stay in your hair and they need hair that's light enough to go on to so yeah so why it turns green is because my hair was lifted to this blonde color that I showed you guys. It was so blonde. This is my natural hair, obviously, the, the brown color. And then I was pretty much, I wouldn't say platinum because my hair doesn't lift that high it, unless it's like going to fry off. But it was lifted pretty blonde and it, was, it wasn't really as ashy gray cooler tone that I wanted. So I think that's why I wanted to dye my hair a fun color because it was lifted so much to where I can do that. I could have put any color in my hair and it would show up. So that's what I did. I wanted to be bold and daring and just different and try new things. So that's why... I put the blue in my hair in the first place was just because it was fun and different but when it faded the reason why it fades to green and why people are so scared of green is because blue plus yellow equals green you guys like it's just that's just what we learned in like elementary school of like mixing paint together so my hair is blonde or at least this half of it is blonde and I put blue in my hair so when I wash my hair out for the first time I saw a lot of lavender come out I saw purple come out so that's all the indigo side so the blue was washing out and it was leaving like more yellow in my hair like the yellow was showing up again it wasn't adding it it was just showing up again because i had masked it with blue but once it started coming out then more yellow was showing but really what you guys are seeing in certain lighting is green so that's why your hair turns green um after you guys dye your hair blue so i wouldn't really blame it all on this product i know it's sold at like drugstores and like um some beauty stores that you can get your hands on really easily so it seems like it's a cheap product but i don't think it is i think it's really just the nature of the color you guys are doing it's not solely the 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 brand or the product um, I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. So it could be but I don't think it's I don't think it's all due to that if that makes sense So so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of advice and some tips that I found to be very helpful throughout this whole process of dyeing my hair I retouched up my hair mid April for Coachella So April it's been a couple months. So this product actually lasts I would say like two months. So on the contrary, that's with me showering every, on average, three days, okay? So I wash my hair in the shower every three days. If you guys want this product to fade faster, I would wash your hair every two days and use a really good shampoo. So I would shower more frequently and because it does fade faster. Okay, so that's tip number one, is to shower more frequently and to really shampoo your hair, get in there. So my second tip, which kind of goes with the first tip, is when you're in the shower, make sure you not only shampoo your head, like your scalp, because that's where all the oil is, that's why you're showering, is because you want a clean scalp, you want to style your hair, you don't want your hair to be heavy, etc., etc. So you're washing your hair, but I have so much hair that... Sometimes it doesn't reach the end, so I would obviously put a bunch of shampoo, I lather it up, and then I, I start on my scalp, you guys, and then as the suds kind of like reach down here, I kind of just wring it out like this. I call it shimmy. I just like shimmy this, and it, it literally like brings the color out so much, so much faster. So I would put a bunch of shampoo on your scalp and wash the grease and oil out, but then I would add some more and I know it's going to feel like you're drying your hair out a lot but you're going to add more and you're just going to add it to the mids and to the ends and then that water, that soapy water will have color in it like even to this day like it still does. Okay, so this isn't really a tip, this is more advice. So my advice would be to not be afraid of the green. Like green is like colored wigs I feel like are in right now. Like you see a lot of influencers a lot of beauty gurus like wearing wigs like i feel like maybe it's because their hair is damaged or maybe it's because they can afford it like i don't even know or they're just trying new things out um i feel like 
a lot of people I see on Instagram have funky colored hair. Um, even green, even all the variations of blue and green, I see it all on my timeline or on the Explorer page. Like it's not anything out of the normal, but I get it for work. If you're not allowed to have it and you just want it for the weekend, I can see how that can be an issue and how you need it out of your hair or else you can possibly like get in trouble or you're breaking some sort of like dress code. Like I get that too. I know L'Oreal Colorista has like these one day sprays and I've never tried them. So I'm not going to give you any strong recommendations, but I do see, and I myself was recommended by someone else saying that those do work. Those come out faster than the semi-permanent color, which makes sense because that's what they're advertising. And if it doesn't work, then why are they advertising it? You know? So I would recommend a one day spray and try it out and see if you like it and then for my last tip I would basically say wear neutral colors because when you have blue hair and you wear something bright like yellow or red or even green it it kind of just takes away from the attention of your hair you just look bright you just light up the room and if that's what you want go for it but I kind of liked how the blue would pop out on its own and then you pair it with something neutral. So that's the only thing that like catches people's eyes when you like walk by. So I would recommend wearing neutral colors like forest green, nude, beige, black, white, gray. So stick to that. Like this color I, is one of my favorites. It makes me look super tan. And although it doesn't bring my hair out as much anymore because I don't have super bright colors in my hair anymore, it's still like there's still this like silver asset greenish color in my hair and it just goes well with this versus if i wore like a bright orange sports bra so basically to sum it up my hair did turn green it took longer than usual for it to get out versus the other colors i had previously tried and it didn't fade the way i thought it would i thought it would just like i said fade from dark to light and back to normal but it kind of jumped around depending on the lighting I was in so I just wanted to like throw that out there for you guys if you guys are still like at this point on the fence of dyeing your hair or not I personally still say go for it because it is so fun and so different and so fun to style like it was a tricky color at first I was like trying to figure out what goes best with it what I should accessorize it with that kind of stuff. If you can do it, I definitely would say go for it. It's, oh, I literally forgot to tell you guys. Sorry, I need to like add this in somewhere. But the purple shampoo really does help because it does cancel out the yellow and brings out more of the gray, ashy, icy tones. And that's what I used. Not this shower from today because I showered today, guys. Um, I used it on my last shower and it literally canceled out like a lot of the green too. So purple shampoo definitely makes it a little more like less yellow if that makes sense. It's not going to fix anything. It's not going to take it out or anything but it does help. So little things like that you can do and honestly in all fairness the box did say it was going to turn green so that's just like a little heat of caution. It's not anything that wasn't warned i was definitely warned and i definitely knew that it was coming but i didn't know how fast so i really hope that you guys got a lot of information out of this video pertaining to how long it's gonna last and how it faded and seeing basically what i went through with it with my hair so this is how it faded and i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this and if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I love doing these reviews. I love doing these tutorials and videos for you guys. All right, you guys. So that's all I have for today. But if you guys have any further questions or comments, feel free to leave it down below in the comment section and I will get back with you guys. So have a nice day, guys. <laughs> I'm not scared that my hair is stuck green, you know? Um, I'm actually more scared that like... I'm not showering enough. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my god.